Glutamate addiction is a term that I learned from the solid cancer field. And um, compared to the general dogma that the metabolic reprogramming of cancer cells uh, was expressed by something called the Warburg effect, was in fact discovered by Otto Warburg, famous German scientist. And he, about a century ago, started describing the changes of cancer cells and they would use obligatory glucose. So what they do is something called glycolysis and uh, there's two main systems, energy systems in every cell, we could, to, to put it simply, is glycolysis or oxidative phosphorylation, respiration, which takes place in the mitochondria, the, the energy factories of the cell. And the concept was uh, the Warburg effect states that cancer cells are uh, obligatory glycolytic, even when there is sufficient oxygen so the cells can breathe, for example. This concept is now on the challenge, uh, to put it mildly, and instead of obligatory glucose addicted, people have found that many cancer cells in fact use glutamine, a very high concentration amino acid in the blood and, uh, and muscles and so forth, and they use glutamine for energy source, also for building blocks for cell division and so forth. And we have tried to investigate this concept for CLL, and we found also there that CLL cells that are reprogramming in the lymph nodes are leaning towards glutamine addiction. If you block glutamine import, they have a hard time cycling. And also they are less resistant to drugs such as venetoclax. And that's an important resistance mechanism. The lymph node status not only is a metabolic, reprogramming, but also anti-apoptotic. So the cells become drug resistant in the lymph node. And you can reduce the resistance by blocking glutamine import.